State Senator Juan Chuy Hinojosa tells 3 News that the governor and legislators dropped the ball on having our energy system winterize. The buck stops for the legislature uh, and the governor. Now, according to the state senator, the federal government made recommendations to the state to winterize its energy system after a big freeze back in 2011, which knocked out power to much of the state. He says that ERCOT claimed that it did not have the authority to force any of those recommendations to be carried out. Senator Hinojosa blames lawmakers for not stepping in and solving the problem before our ice storm disaster. We need more uh, regulation uh, and oversight over our energy power system. Uh, there's no doubt that an unregulated system, which we passed in uh, 1999, uh, worked for a while, but now we have climate change, where we need to make sure that changes take place to focus uh, on protecting uh, our power energy sources. Yeah, Hinojosa believes that putting in new regulations could help ensure changes to an industry, which he believes prioritizes profit. And more help is on the way for rural Texans struggling to recover after the winter storm. Today, FEMA added 18 additional counties to President Biden's major disaster declaration. The newly added Coastal Bend counties include Brooks, Duval, Goliad, Jim Hogg, Carnes, and Clayburg. It provides help to individuals who suffered losses not covered by insurance. 77 counties were approved last Saturday, then another 31 just two days later. Governor Greg Abbott says he's looking forward to working with FEMA to ensure all Texas counties are added. And the city of Corpus Christi announcing some help for water utility customers. It's for those who may have higher than normal charges because of dripping faucets or leaking pipes. This applies to both residents and commercial businesses. However, those using more than 100,000 gallons a day are not eligible. The city says there will be no late fees assessed during the February billing cycle. They will also suspend disconnections for non-payment through March. And we're told the wastewater winter quarter average for everyone will not be recalculated this year because of the ongoing challenges. Now, customers can also request a review of their January and February bills through the city's utility business office. Those requests must be received, though, by April 16th. Of course, you can find all of this information online at our website, kitv.com.